if you look at a human adult, what you realize is that all the cells are not identical. So the question is, how does that work? How can you generate an organism or an adult human where all the cells are different? And part of the answer, not all of the answer, but part of the answer comes from stem cells. So that when one cell divides, the two daughter cells are not identical. One cell remains a stem cell, so it replenishes itself, and the other cell can go off and become one of the special cell types in the adult organism, like a pancreas cell or a liver cell or a heart cell. So stem cells, in some sense, are like plastic. They can make more of themselves, and then they can make special tissues and organs in the adult. There's lots of different kinds of stem cells, uh, and they come from different tissues and organs. So in an adult organism, there are stem cells in the bone marrow, stem cells in the brain, stem cells in the liver, and those cells can sometimes be extracted from a live person, uh, such as bone marrow. Stem cells in the brain, of course, cannot be easily taken from a live person because brain biopsies are a very difficult uh, and dangerous procedure. And so what we do instead is we use so-called embryonic stem cells or other kinds of stem cells that are generated in the lab by a method called reprogramming to generate human brain cells in a dish that we can then study to try to understand how diseases of the brain work. The numbers are just staggering. Um, uh, you know, the cost to care for one person with the disease is, you know, anywhere from fifty to $100,000 a, a year minimum. Since we don't have drugs that change the course of the disease and these people lose the ability to care for themselves and in fact become dangerous to themselves and others if they, really, if they don't have 24-hour care, the financial cost is enormous and the emotional cost on the families who deal with this is really quite terrible. And while it may seem that it's expensive to do medical research. It's expensive until you consider the costs of disease, which absolutely dwarf the amount that we spend on research to try to find the causes and therapies. <clears throat> and so ultimately, as a society, I think we need to dramatically increase our effort on these problems.